So the next speaker, you have seen him yesterday. You have seen his prodigious mind yesterday. The man who can crack AI and he used his prodigious mind to help businesses understand tech and AI. Let's welcome Anj Mera! Awesome folks, really really happy to be here because today I have at least 15 minutes to tell you what I have to share throughout my journey of using AI as a content creator. There's a very interesting quote that says, there are decades where nothing happens and then there are weeks where decades happen. In the next 10 minutes, you will realize that we are actually living in those short weeks. I want you to raise your hands if you've never used AI for your content. Is there anyone who has never ever used AI? Very few, that's actually very impressive. I'm happy that most of you have at least tried. Well, you'd be surprised to know that very, very soon, you will be able to just upload one static image of yours and add movement to it. In fact, I can take any of your images, rig up a model, make you wear whatever clothes I want, and then create reels out of it. If you don't know how to dance, absolutely okay. Just put me in an image and I will rig your body and it will look as real as a human being. So does this mean that, is this the... Oops. Hello? That's AI stopping me. <laughs> So does this mean that will content creators be replaced? Not really. But this can actually help content creators reach more people. If I am making content in English, then I can use AI to create content in Spanish and any other language, which is crazy if you think about it. I personally feel that when it comes to these new AI tools, a lot of people are misunderstanding the point. There was a wave six months ago where I said, here is a new AI tool that can help you write emails. Here is an AI tool that can add more flair to your editing. We're seeing a shift where instead of chasing new AI tools, you will have the same tools with AI, the tools that you've been using for a very, very long time. Let's just say that you've been using Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro will have built-in AI in it. If you've been using Gmail to write all of your content and your emails, then they will have AI built in it. And why did that happen? Because it's very difficult to shift people from the tools that they're already using to a new AI tool. And that is one very important, significant difference that I want you to take away. That instead of asking people, is there a great AI tool that I can use to simplify my life? Not really. Have patience. The legacy tools that you're using right now will have built-in AI in it. Another very important change that we had is that around five to six months ago, everybody was super bullish on prompt engineering. They said, if you're not a good prompt engineer, you are doomed for life. We're slowly shifting to a point where instead of saying it's prompt to image, prompt to video, you just need a simple idea. So it's idea to image, idea to video. So there's no longer a dependency for you to write some amazing prompts. And Pika Labs is a great example. Right now on Pika Labs, you can put in a very basic idea and it would come up with hyper-realistic videos. Now, of course, just like mid-journey, there will be a point where this thing will create a random video and you can add your own face to it. Does this mean that I need to become a pro prompt engineer? Not really, because all of the tech companies are now positioning themselves as idea to output. In fact, a massive problem that a lot of content creators face is that I shot all of my content for Instagram portrait. How do I put it on YouTube? But now you can take a still and then extend left and right backgrounds with Photoshop or any other tool and just put yourself in the middle and repurpose the same content for a YouTube video. It is actually that seamless now. It is such a simple hack, yet so few people who are on Instagram are using this as a trick for their YouTube. Now, of course, in the next 10 minutes, I will be sharing you some tips, but please make sure that you use your real intelligence because this quote is so valid. I don't fear artificial intelligence, I fear natural stupidity. And a lot of people just go crazy when they think about AI tools that, oh, is my life sorted? Is my job gonna go away? Guys, let's be real. Please be real. And just to reiterate everything that I will say, I have a very simple flowchart for you to understand. This is how the flow of work will look for us. First of all, it is the human who thinks because the AI doesn't know what problems we are facing. The human is responsible to give a prompt and the context 
prompting is nothing but your own ability to add constraints and to give context. You can do that in terrible grammar, terrible English, not an issue. Once you give the prompt, the AI will give you a result and by default you will realize that this is not good enough. So as a human being, you need to build on top of that result and at the very end of the flowchart, it is you who delivers. So today I'm going to share it to some very, very quick tricks that I have been using to hack my content using AI. I'll first tell you how I use ChatGPT to boost my YouTube performance and then how I am using AI as content interns 24-7 along with the bonus roadmap that you can use at the end. Let's start with trick number one. Before moving forward, I just need to make sure that you have ChatGPT Plus which costs $20 per month. Let me break down how this works. You go to your YouTube studio and you can do this for any content platform that you want. They always give you data about your views and metrics. I downloaded a simple CSV and I wrote this exact prompt. Analyze this YouTube studio data and give me three data bagged recommendations to hit my goal of 250k subscribers in the next five months. For every recommendation, call out the data behind it. Now there's something very, very important I've done in this prompt. I have specifically asked ChatGPT to tell me why have you given this recommendation. So while it is giving me all of that context, I know what part of my CSV is proof for this exact data. I'm not kidding folks, you can go to my YouTube channel. I was at 80 or 90K three to four months ago and right now we are at 273K and it really, really helped us to get better ideas, to make it very, very surgical to grow with a proper system. Trick number two, you can actually start using AI as a content intern. Now there's one very, very cool feature that OpenAI has recently announced. It is so surprising how so few people know about it. How many of you have heard about GPT bots? GPT bots, such few people. This is absolutely incredible. Folks, this is gonna change the game. OpenAI realized that people no longer want a generic chat GPT. Right? You waste so much time adding context. Act as a digital marketer who specializes in X, Y, Z. So much time goes wasted. But now, you can create a chat GPT who is personalized for your content, for your business. It knows exactly what you want as long as you know how to add context and how to put the right constraints. Let me show you how it works. Once you have the chat GPT plus pan, on the top left corner, you will have a button that now says explore. Once you click on explore, you will have a list of chat GPT bots. Imagine it is chat GPT only, but just trained for a specific purpose. For example, OpenAI has already launched many chat GPT bots that you can use for free. If you are a content creator or a creative individual who has a terrible time negotiating for his or her skills, the negotiator GPT bot can help you negotiate. The creative writing coach can help you write better. The tech support advisor can help you set up small, small items in your office. All of them are trained by default. So I don't have to figure out how to prompt this, how to train this. Now you'd be wondering, how do we set this up? It's super simple. I won't go through the step-by-step -step details, but I just want to show you how it works. Once you create a new GPT, you have create where you set context. And in configure, you can add small, small details. You can also add documents. You can add PDFs. You can add as much content as you want. Now, as a content creator, a huge problem that you would be facing while using ChatGPT for scripts is that this doesn't sound like me. This is so robotic. The thing is, you're not using ChatGPT right. If you create a GPT bot and feed all of your human written scripts, it will learn from you. Once you have fed 20 scripts that you have written and once you ask chat GPT that dude, can you just learn from my tone of voice? It will now understand what you're trying to do. But even after that, once you get the script, remember the flowchart. You have to build on top of it. It can never replace the nuance because with time your audience is also evolving. Now the crazy part is that OpenAI will soon launch a GPT store which means that if you create a good GPT bot for content, you can have revenue sharing. It's almost like the new app store. And the crazy part here is that there was this one app called the iBeer app. Do you guys remember this app? Very simple app. It used to uh, look as if you're drinking beer. And that time, these guys had the first mover's advantage. You won't believe at one point, this app was making $20,000 every single day. It's incredible what you can do. And the biggest change is that now, one person will learn prompt engineering, 
one person will create a bot and everybody else will learn on their own. In fact, folks, just one day ago, Google has launched Gemini, which is a chat GPT competitor. And it is said that it is way more stronger, way more creative than even chat GPT. So we're moving in a very, very fast world. My advice for you would be that there are two things you need to care about. Number one, your health and your mind. With so many AI tools coming in, it's a huge probability that your brain is going to get deteriorated. Even if you have all the time in this world without energy, it's of no use. The question is, where do we learn more? So folks, we have created in-depth tutorial videos, one hour long masterclasses on our YouTube channel. My name is Ansh Mehra, and if you scan this QR code, you will be redirected to our YouTube playlist where I have given step-by-step -step roadmaps on how you can use AI to build a legit career. This is no fluff, only stuff content, and once you watch the videos, you'll know how to sort it out. A lot of people say that, Ansh, how do we train our teams? How do we train our employees? We are here, but what about our family members? To help them, we have introduced a new domain called howtoprompt.in. Howtoprompt.in. This one single website has free videos, documentations, AI tools for all dedicated use cases. I hope this presentation gave you some inspiration. It's very, very important, folks, that you're not afraid of AI. This is a co-pilot. It's not a smart replacement for you. It's probably an intern who's slightly drunk. And once you see it that way, you will look at it in a completely different picture. But I will keep reminding you that study your first principles, build your community, because as a creator, you need people who trust you and your brand and your values. And of course, you can use AI to scale as fast as you can. This is my Instagram, anshmera.in. I will be looking forward to your questions outside the venue because we have limited time here. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your friend Ansh Mehra signing out. If you like what you just saw, make sure you check out our remaining videos. We've created a dedicated playlist on using tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney. We have also launched a website called howtoprom.in that will give you all the roadmaps, step-by-step -step guides on using AI to your advantage. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your Dost Ansh Mehra signing out. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.